for us, it's important to understand the Met is not just a place that you visit. It's really a great service to an audience all around the world. We believe we have one object that can inspire every single person in the planet. How can we reduce the distance between each of those people and the object that will inspire them? In February 2017, the museum made the decision to release all the images and data of our public domain artwork, free of any copyright restriction. We are photographing all of our two million objects that the Met houses. Our task is really to share our collection, to disseminate our knowledge to as many people as possible. Now we want to ask a question. Using AI technologies, what can people build on that? We've brought together teams from the Met, Microsoft, MIT, and we have a hackathon happening. We can create experiences around art that really have never been seen before because the technology we have today has never been available before. Artificial intelligence finds patterns that the human eye doesn't capture, and we start actually learning about ourselves better than we probably knew already. One way that we preserve culture is to give people tools to create new things with it and to spread those creations across the globe. Because these two worlds of tech and art are bleeding closer together, that creates a fertile ground for new projects and perspectives on technology that we can't yet even predict. So to me, it feels a bit like a renaissance. This is the museum of the world, about the world, and for the world. Here tonight to celebrate our new and really important partners, MIT and Microsoft, you will see here outcomes of our first collaborations. AI is enabling us to actually play with the data itself, to generate new narratives. And then on the other hand, being creative has always pushed technology beyond its boundaries. I hope that people will start to see some of the promise that it holds to be a more inclusive and a diverse platform for people to jump in and play in. As a museum experience, starts becoming more than just a visit to a museum. We're looking at the space of what we can do in a virtual world. The more people become aware, actually, what's in the Met is relevant to me. But ultimately, it's those ideas we want people to take away with them. It's for connections to culture, for connections to history.